to have an estimated of food insecurity, which is guided by the meal of the gap. The meal of the gap helps Feeding America to indicate the percentages and rates of those who live in poverty and for those who are unemployed. Now, due to the global pandemic, these percentages and rates have increased dramatically. For those who live in poverty and for those who have been unemployed have been increasing nationwide. This comes to show that the impact of COVID-19 has been impacting many families, which made families begin to experience a food insecurity. Hi, my name is Cheyenne Credo, and I will be talking about the food insecurities among the states. Since the pandemic, the food insecurity rates have gone up tremendously. There was already much food insecurity among the states with California having one of the highest percentages before the COVID-19 pandemic, but it has increased since. As for children, many are starving, especially in California because it is so populated there. Also, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, Nevada has gone up substantially with children's food insecurity because of the unemployment rate. Not only is the unemployment rate affecting the food insecurity in Nevada, but it is affecting it everywhere in every state because so many people are being laid off, which will lead to hungry, starving families. Hi, my name is Hayden Hancock and I'm going to be talking about the implications for Feeding America. It is no surprise that due to the COVID-19 pandemic, many families have been affected both physically and financially, but also economically. In order to combat this crisis, the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, also called SNAP, a government organization has been working to meet the ends of those facing food insecurity. In addition to government support, many people have been looking to charitable food banks, just like Feeding America, to help make ends meet. Feeding America before the pandemic was able to serve over 40 million people, but since the pandemic, they have been facing what is called a perfect storm, which includes a rise in demand and a decline in supply. Lack of volunteers and donations have caused disruptions within this system. In order to combat the issue and help the food insecurity in America, we as Americans need to come together and work to meet those and needs in our community by donating food, volunteering our time, and praying for those affected. And I will talk about the food insecurity rate in the counties and congressional districts, as well as different communities. Overall, the rate range between the lowest and highest among all the counties and among all the congressional districts does not have much difference in the overall population. Among all the counties, the rate ranges from 6.3% to 36.8%, and among all congressional districts, the range is slightly smaller, 7.9% to 39.3%. In the children population, however, the percentage of children who living in a food insecure household are so much more higher, with the highest of 56.9% in Kusubak Census County, Alaska, and 43.9% is the highest among all congressional districts, goes to New York's 15 district. That is basically half of children who suffer from food insecurity. Some communities such as Latinos, Native American, African Americans suffer from a high percentage of food insecurity, especially during this time. Uh, when many lost jobs and lack of access to health care. These communities are more than twice likely to suffer from food insecurity compared to other communities, such as the Caucasian community.